everyone welcome back to my channel today we will be building the perfect pinterest home or at least attempting to i was looking through house plans and i came across this suburban cottage home and i want to recreate it in the sim so that's what we'll be doing today all right i have decided to build this house at brook bungalow so i only have a picture of the front of the house so the back of the house i'm gonna just have to kind of wing it i think what makes this house really interesting is how much it has going on with the roofing so i think this is gonna be quite a challenge i definitely have to figure out the roofing first because it has a lot of roof pieces that look like their rooms but i think it's just the roof i don't know if i'm even gonna bother adding a second floor I might just do the ground floor. So it has like rooms peeking out kind of like here. That's way too big. I might have to skip these little bump outs that it has. I'll do this one. This one at least fits. Maybe I should add one to the back. Just the same thing. I think that's pretty much it for the exterior. The back's pretty plain, but I think that's okay. Maybe I'll add a porch back here. I never know if I should cover these back porches or not. Like, I feel like it looks weird with a giant roof back here. Okay, that looks terrible. <laughs> Thought I could add one over here, but that does not work. I think that's going to be the shape of the house. That's all I'm going to do for that. Now, the house in the picture is white with white windows. <laughs> Everything's just white. So I don't know if this is going to work. It might look a little bit odd in The Sims. It just looks so plain. I'll do the whole outside we'll see how it looks once everything's done. It looks a little bit weird now, but I bet once I get the landscaping done, it'll probably look a lot better. I do want to scoot this forward a little bit. kind of like the idea of the iron fence. Now the only color that's on the outside of the house is a kind of dark red door. Maybe I'll do this one. I don't know, I kind of wish we had something darker than that. Now all the windows are white though. I don't think we even have like red windows, do we? We have these. I think these match. I don't think I like these ones. I think I'm just gonna stick with white windows and then I'll probably do like a red window flower box thing. Pretty sure we have that. I think I'm just gonna do the basic base game ones. We don't have like any shuttered windows that are wider. That's what I was thinking of, is these ones. We don't have any that are like too wide. I think I'm just gonna like mix and match. Cause the house that's in the picture does have like different kinds of windows. Can I squeeze a two bedroom house into here? This just feels really small. Now, I want to use the same kind of door that's up front, out and back. I think this is the same thing, just smaller. Okay, so far it looks pretty good I think. I want to get a window box now. I'd like something with red flowers. There's this. It's too orangey I think. That's a bit pink. Maybe I'll have to go into debug actually. I think debug definitely has more options. There's this. I don't know why this didn't show up. I want to make like a backyard but I want to use a different kind of fence. I want something taller. Maybe I'll just do this one. I don't know if I want to bring it all the way to the edge here, or if I want it to be like right here. Yeah, I think this is what I'll do, and I'll have like some trees over here, so that's more than enough space. I think I'm just going to put a couple of these down, and I'll come back to the landscaping later. Alright, I'm going to figure out what the layout of this house is going to be. I think I want this to be the bathroom. Maybe this will be a kid's room? And this will be like a master and that's really awkwardly shaped i think it makes a lot of sense for this to be the dining area i don't know where to put the bedrooms i might have to add an upstairs well that's not horrible it's a little weird <laughs> there also won't be any windows up here okay that looks kind of normal right maybe <laughs> Okay, this is starting to look very different from the original, <laughs> and it's also massive, but I don't know, I think it's kind of cute. It's a huge house now. I really thought I was going to make a small suburban house today. <laughs> the roofing. Shoot. I think this will be easy, actually. Okay, that's fixed. Now this one. 
I wonder if I could fake it. <laughs> okay, that took a lot of time, but I managed to fake it. And I put these bump outs here. So now we have a functional upstairs where I can put the bedrooms. This is gonna be a massive, expensive house. I don't know where to put the windows up here because it's it's all just gonna look weird because there's so much like roofing. I'll put that there. It's gotta look normal from the inside and the outside. We're just gonna ignore that. I think that looks fine. Okay, now I have to figure out where the heck to put the stairs. The stairs are just so big. Wait, these are medium wall height? We're not doing that. Now I gotta scoot everything down. Now we can do the stairs. I think I'm gonna have them right in front of the door. Maybe like there. I'm thinking this might end up being the living room. And maybe I'll have it fully closed off too. Hmm. This is a lot of empty space though. Well, this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I should have looked at this better. It doesn't leave you very much space. Maybe if I have the bump out on this side. You know, what if I just had this straight? I feel like that might make more sense. Can I put it in like this corner? That makes this section totally unusable. This looks ridiculous. Oh my god, stairs are so hard. I hate stairs. You know, I might make this video a two-parter. <laughs> I think I might just do the outside of this house first and then to the inside. You know, I hate to undo all the work that I've done, but I think I'm going to upload this on the gallery as a shell. I'm just going to do the outside of the house for this video. I'm going to do the landscaping and like the back patio and the backyard area because that's something that I usually skip over when I do building videos. But this is such a big house that I kind of want to do <laughs> it separately. Now, in the original house, they have kind of a paved stone path like this one. I think that's what I might go for. I don't know. I'll cover that up with, like, landscaping. All right, I'm going to go into debug and get some of the landscaping. I'd really like to use this tree from Get Together. It's, like, my favorite tree. I can never find it. Here it is. I think I'll put this one at the front of the house. And I want to use, like, different trees out back. I'm going to try not to use too many packs for the outside of the house, just in case you guys want to download this and try to furnish it yourself, the way more people can use this. I'll probably just grab some trees from the regular game too, because all the debug trees are kind of huge. I'm going to put that one back there. This one's pretty like similar to this one. This one's just bigger and has flowers, so they're kind of in the same like tree family. I kind of feel like I should do a variety of flower boxes. I think that might look cool because these are very similar, just like slightly different. I think I'll use some white flowers in the landscaping to try and tie that in. Try and tie in the white tree. <laughs> what am I trying to say? When I landscape, I usually put down the main like floral bushes and then I add like the plain bushes around it. All right, I think that's all I want to do for the flowers, and I'm just going to add like these low-lying plants to kind of blend it in. And I always put these around the trees as well, even though you can't really like see this. All right, and then to fill in the gaps, I think I'm going to use this one. All right, I've definitely gone kind of heavy <laughs> on the landscaping. I usually do. All right, I'm going to add some dirt around all of these to make it look more natural. For the mailbox, I think I'm just gonna go with the classic Willow Creek one. All right, and I think that's it for the landscaping. I think I'm going to just add a few things to the front porch. Maybe a couple of these planter boxes. I'll do one there. And I'll add a little bench. And I think I'll do some potted plants. Probably the tree. I thought there was a window here. Maybe I'll add one. And then I'll just do one more small plant over here. Maybe this one. Yeah, I think that's all I'll do for the front porch. And for the back porch, I think I'll put a grill. And then I think I'll add a chest table over here. I'll add a couple plants out here as well. And then I think I'll just do some outdoor lighting. Maybe this one. And I'll put this on the front as well. Maybe I should do some in in the plants too. Are these in a different section? Yeah, here they are. 
I think I'll use these ones. And I'll put a couple out back as well. All right, I'm going to put this playset back here in this corner. And then for this section, I kind of want to do like a paved thing over here, like a patio, and have an eating area right here. I might do this table. I don't know, I kind of want to do an umbrella table, but I kind of want to do a big table. I think I'll just go with that one. Maybe I'll do these. Oh, I can't do those. I've seen people like put their chairs not on the table. I know technically this doesn't make it usable, but you can just move it when you want to use it. Because I think it looks really nice. It looks more natural. And I think I'll just add a bench over here. Maybe I'll put a small tree back there. This little space feels kind of empty. If I can find a small tree. It's bamboo. That does not work. I think that looks weird with it being like right on top of the other tree. You know, there is like umbrellas in other packs. I think maybe that's what I want to use. This is what I was thinking of. I feel like I've used seasons out here, so... Should I do it in red? I kind of like how that looks. Does this come in red? There's that. But I've definitely used Get Together. Maybe I should use this one instead. You know, I have used Get Together for a lot of this, so I can probably put some like outdoor activities. I feel like they have stuff in this. Maybe not. <laughs> Must be remembering this wrong. Okay, this is cute. I want to add like more stuff out here. Maybe a birdhouse? That's cute. I think this little bird fountain out front might be nice. Alright, I think that is it for the exterior of this house. This is going to be on the gallery if you're interested in kind of renovating it yourself, if you want to decorate the inside of it. And if you want to see me decorate the rest of it, make sure you subscribe because that will be my next video. That's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all next Thursday. Bye everyone.